Your riding lawnmower doesn't move forwards or backwards anymore. You sit on the thing, you start it up, you go to move forwards and backwards and nothing happens. You're just sitting there staying still. I'm going to take you through a really common issue to solve that problem today. Stay tuned for that. But before that, look at this guys, check that out. I was just at Prairie Coast Equipment in Nanaimo, British Columbia, Canada today. They're a John Deere dealer. I was talking to the, uh, to the manager, his name's Wes. He gave me this hat for free so I could do this video for you guys because it just so happens that I'm using my John Deere LA125 riding lawnmower to show you this today. This does not just apply to John Deere riding lawnmowers though. This applies to almost every riding lawnmower out there that I can think of. It's the same issue. So we're gonna get into it right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to Steve Small Engine Saloon again. Thanks for tuning in. Right there, my website, stevesmallengineslaloon.com. Check that out when you get a chance. I also got a little quick link up here for you in the information button. Get you back to my website quicker if you want to go through that route. Um, nothing really special with the beer selection today, guys. Sorry about that. I'm just uh, going with my old staple, the Bat Blue. So... Yeah, typical drive problem on one of these things. Here's how it starts. You just have a flat tire on the back of your riding lawnmower. You pulled it off and you fixed your flat tire. Oh, on that note, I actually have something you guys might be interested in. I actually have a, 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 a playlist, another little quick link up here for you. And at the end of this video too, I got uh, some clickable thumbnails there for you to click to to get back to that too. It's a riding lawnmower playlist where uh, two videos on there, how to change a tire on one of these, how to put a tube in one of these things. Check that out when you get a chance, very interesting. But you already just did it. That's why this is happening. That's why you're having this issue. You fixed your flat tire. Now you just went and stuck your flat tire or your 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 fixed tire back on there you buttoned it all back up with your uh, with your uh, washer your e-clip your dust cap on there and you're like finally I can get my grass cut now before my wife comes home you jump on the thing and you go forwards back nothing happens you can't move and now you're losing your mind you're like oh my god what is wrong with this thing what is the transmission screwed on this thing now? And now I got to deal with the drive belt? This thing is a piece of shit. Calm down guys, calm down. That's why another sip of uh, Labatt Blue comes in handy right now. Just calm down. The little square key, 3 16 of an inch key, fell out when you pulled that wheel off. That little key right there locks your axle to your wheel. So when your axle spins in there, it actually is, is turning your wheel. If you put your tire back on and it does this, that is incorrect. You're not going anywhere. This is such a common problem that I've ran into over the years that this absolutely warrants a video because there's a lot of people around here who do this. Um, don't feel bad about it, very common. It's gonna be, the key is gonna be sitting in the grass, right probably where you took the wheel off, it fell out and you didn't even notice it. If you don't see it right underneath where you took the wheel off, trace your steps to where you took the wheel off and where you might've took the wheel to fix the flat tire Trace your steps in there. You're going to find that little square key right there laying on the ground somewhere. Hopefully, I have had many people in my life come back and say, I can't find that thing. Uh, I got a link on my description. If you need a new one, go back to my description. And uh, it's a key stock. It's a 316 key stock. I think they come in 12 inch lengths. And you just cut them with a hacksaw to whatever length you need. Stick it back in there. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All you got to do is uh, 
spin your tire around and you see the axle right there has a little half square and your wheel has a little half square and you just line those up so it's a full square right there you take that key and just put it right in like this slide it in and now it doesn't spin around anymore now it's locked to your axle and that's what you want button it all back up with your your washer and your e-clip and your little dust cap on there i'm not going to bore with you guys with how to take your wheel off and back on again because if you're running into this issue i already know it's because you took your tire off you already know how to take that off so there you go button her all back up now you can go get your uh, grass cut before your wife comes home you're welcome <laughs> Give me that thumbs up button, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope I saved you some money, some frustration here. As always, what I'm trying to do, uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share it with your friends. Put some comments down on this video. Tell me what you thought of it. I really hope I helped, guys. Until the next video coming up real shortly, Steve out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.